Here's how to optimize your photos for web and devices. So I'm in Photoshop and I'm going to uh, go to open, navigate to my desktop where I put my photograph. I have this photograph of a puppy. So it's a pretty simple process. We're going to go here to the sixth tool down, um, sorry, the fifth tool down, which is your crop tool. And then this will give you your handles and crop this. This is just aesthetics here. Wherever you want this to crop, you put these little handles and don't worry so much about the size. I downloaded this from Unsplash, so I have plenty of resolution. And I'm going to crop it the way I want it to look and then type return. And that will delete all your pixels and crop this. Now, the only thing left to do is to make this um, optimized and web friendly. So I will go to export, save for web legacy. And in here, remember that if we have a file that is a continuous tone um, with a lot of gradients or a photograph, we want a JPEG. Otherwise, if you're doing your header or something else, you might want to do a ping 24. But I'm going to stick with um, JPEG. And then remember that the width of our images for our email is a maximum of 600. So I'm going to put 600 in here, type tab, that will resize it. I click save. And then I will just name this whatever I want. How about puppy, <laughs> puppy one. I'll put that on my desktop. You can put it into the folder of your choice to keep all of your files together for your project. I click save. And then if I hide Photoshop, you'll see that this is my original um, here, and this is my cropped version here. And it's also optimized for the web. And then I will simply go to um, <clears throat> go to MailChimp and upload. This is my header. That's it. Thank you.